Hey, this is Tom with Tom Tech Show. I had a suggestion about taking and looking at React OS. So we're going to do that. Let's go. Hey there, Tom with Tom Tech Show. And um, we're looking at React OS today. Um, it's, it's kind of someone went and stripped Windows down and is kind of building it open source from the ground up that still uses all the able to run a lot of Windows, older Windows programs, none of the new uh, Windows uh, Store OS kind of kind of applications. Um, but it says, you know, here we're looking at the features, uh, so it's lightweight, they're, you know, from scratch, not limit, not mimicking uh, Windows, it's not lin Linux or anything. Uh, they've got over 100 developer developers. Um, it has different styles, different things, it's ready to install, or you can try it off of a live CD. So. Um, I have it downloaded, and we're just going to start right here. We're just going to do an install. I mean, it doesn't take very long to do. Um, I'm running it in a virtual box, so it loads up, um, starts here, says, okay, we're, we're installing. I'm in the, yes, I'm in the United States. Uh, welcome to setup. Just hit enter, enter, continue. We're going to accept all that. We are going to go ahead and partition. It says, fat or BT, BT RFS. So we're just gonna do fat just to start with. Seems seems simple, so it's gonna format that so that it's gonna say, okay, where do we wanna put the OS, React OS? Boom, and now it's installing. Um, like I said, it doesn't take very long. It's it's pretty quick. Um, they do have a an older um, version of Firefox that runs on it. I think that's what it was. Um, install the bootloader. Okay, computer's going to reboot. So we want to come down here and uh, remove our disk from our drive. We can just hit enter and reboot. Okay, so that's all there is to the install. It's it's pretty quick. We're going to um, go ahead and just boot into React OS, and there there you go. I mean, it is fast. Um, it has a lot of theming and stuff in it, um, stuff like that. So. Um, hopefully it will start. I didn't run. It is very beta. Actually, it's more alpha than than beta. So let's see if this is gonna decide to run. I did it before and it worked, but now it seems like it's not happy. We may have to do this whole thing all over again. Machine reset and. Uh, it's getting stuck somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna reset. Okay, so we're gonna come down to and do one of the debugs, which is just do debug. Okay, we're looking, loading things. Okay, so checks the drive and and sits here and does nothing. Hard drive is spinning, I can tell. That's why I like using VirtualBox. Down here there's this little drive icon that says, hey, it's actually doing something. So that tells me that something's going on, something's happening. So, and boom, done, okay. And now we're getting there. So you can tell it's a little buggy. You can tell it's got, you know, some problems. Welcome to setup. Okay, so now that we get copied all the files, now we can set it up. So you can select a different, uh, uh, all the different pieces that are in it. You can view the licenses and stuff. I already set the locale. Uh, by me, Tom's Tech. My lazy, you know, do you ever get that where your like finger is so lazy on the shift key? I don't need all the extra garbage. We're just gonna do that. Uh, admin password. We're gonna do our super secret password and it's Monday, February 24th. And we're boom. Okay, so you can pick a style here. Now you can pick the different, you know, themes. They got theming down. They built theming into the, to the beginning of it, which is, which is nice. We're gonna use typical network settings. Just go and then boom, it's completing setup. 
Okay. So finish. Shutting down. We're gonna reboot yet again. Not as many times as I think as a Windows upgrade, but still. Shh, bird. I don't need you. Okay, we'll see if we can get through here now. And boom. Okay, checking the file system again. Boom. And now we are up and running. Okay, so start programs. We got all this stuff here. Okay. So we're going to, there's audio bus, some driver. Can't find that. Can't find that. So I tried, I did try inserting the guest editions. So that's the guest edition CD, which allow you to go to my computer, go here, and then I think, no, this is 32 bits. So I did run through this and try and install some things. Uh, some things kind of installed okay, some things didn't. I mean, but this is a Windows program, uh, the Oracle, you know, VirtualBox guest editions. This is a Windows program, so we're going to reboot and see how many of these drivers help getting things running. So, yes, we're doing all this live. I mean, I just figure it's it's quick and simple, uh, but we can do it all live. So, there we go. Okay, so it has a few programs here. We've got. Uh, okay, we can try the, uh, the audio driver again. No. Okay, some of the other drivers kind of worked. So we have network now. So in order to install things, you go into the application manager. So it's going to download a lot of applications. And then we can, it comes with no browser. So, so I can go to Firefox, but it only goes to 48. So what's uh firefox what's firefox on wait i have firefox actually on this computer but why don't i check that because it's up to date firefox okay we're gonna check it Oink. uh help about firefox firefox is on 73 so you're quite a ways back on firefox uh, but uh, where's the apply? Here we go. Install. So we're going to install Firefox. I tried to install Chrome. It would not install Chrome. Did not like Chrome at all. So it's obviously too new. But um, extracting, installing. Okay. Next standard. Use Firefox my default browser because I have no other browsers on this operating system currently. And finish, launch Firefox. Okay, so now we've launched Firefox. Don't import anything because there is nothing. Okay, so Firefox. I mean, it, it works fairly speedily. I mean, it's gonna be, you know, pretty lightweight. And is there a Firefox 52 update available? Oh, wow. So you can get to 52. So we'll restart Firefox. That's that's nowhere close to 78. But I'm trying to see, is there a task manager of some kind? I think there is a task manager somewhere. Uh, minimize that. Okay. Start programs, accessories. Uh, is there administrative tools, system configuration, event viewer, device manager, accessories, communications, and system tools, uh, task manager. Holy heck. Okay, so it looks pretty much like a Windows task manager. So I gave this box two gigabytes and it's using 235 meg. So that's quite good. Uh, can I get to my network places? Can I get to uh home nas okay maybe not get to home nas okay so maybe by ip 1.105 no so it's i mean it has internet but it's not really communicating with network really because that's that's my nas and we're not we're not seeing any folders or or anything else because otherwise I would try and 
install some applications, but delete, move to, go, really? No, nothing. We're not getting any network. So we're not really browsing any network files. So that's, you know, like I said, it's an alpha. It's kind of buggy. Uh, but I mean, if you, I think if you want to play around with it, I would say, you know, get download VirtualBox because that's free and then download the React OS CD and see what you can and can't install. I mean, the one program that I typically use, which I doubt is going to be in here. No, it's not in here. Is Zara, which is what I do all my thumbnails and everything with. That's what I'm going to try and install, but we're not getting anywhere. What's my IP address? Can I do these things? Can I go IP config? Uh, that might be why I can't get to the NAS. Okay, so let's go devices, network, network settings. We'll take the NAT off and we will bridge to my network adapter. Boom, okay. And then we should get. Boom, now we have a regular IP address, so let's see if that helps. Uh, on the same network, no. Not getting to files. Okay, well, it's not getting there, so. We have net use, net use star, uh, backslash, backslash. Uh, 192.168.1.105. Oops, I got an extra character in there. 105 slash files slash user me star. See if this actually works. N file not found. The system cannot find the specified file. So, so the net commands are not the same it would appear where I'm just not having network connectivity uh, let's see my computer properties computer name network ID change and a part of the work group react OS that should be fine I don't know it's just not allowing me to I guess if I look at it some more maybe I'll be able to get to the network uh, what else is out there? I don't have any other servers out there. Uh, Studio One, which is this one, this local server, nothing, 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 nothing. So the network browser is obviously broken, uh, which is not good. Um, I don't know, maybe there'll be an update or something. I don't know, when was the last update? The React OS. Uh, news, project news, meeting, uh, September 23rd of 2019 and the release before that was uh, much older than that so here we go 4011 March 4th so it's about every six or seven months that they're releasing a new build of this um, I don't know if I mean oh you, you can play Minesweeper, there you go, options, expert, that gets you a whole ton of Minesweeper things until you hit a mine. Boom, there we go. So you can play, if you want to go back and play Minesweeper, then da download React OS. All right, well, that's all I'm going to play with that for now. Um, it's an interesting project. Um, if, if you're looking for something that's fast and reliable and updated and easily supported by many devices um, this is not it but if you want to play with something and see what you can make it do then yeah go ahead and do that um, if you want something secure and reliable just go grab your favorite version of linux install that and run so all right well that's all we're doing for this moment i've i've watched picard i gotta make a picard video because again it just gets worse so i'll be doing that soon and uh if you got time, you can play with React OS and get back to your Minesweeper and see how many mines you can get to and just and restart and then 
see where you can get how many you can clear out before you hit a mine. Wow, I'm actually doing this is crazy. Oh, there we go. Finally hit a mine. Whew, man. All right. Well, this is Tom Tom Tech Show. Thanks for watching. Take care.